Hello. Welcome to the Thornton Sands Hotel. The UK's hospitality sector is booming. More of us want to holiday here, and this trend in staycationing is fueling a huge demand for reliable, well-trained staff. Government estimates predict the industry will need more than 800,000 new staff by 2017. Good afternoon and welcome. As a result, the government's encouraging employers to embrace apprenticeships to help recruit more youngsters with a focus on career development. Recognising the benefits, the Brent Hotel Group, based in the South West, has set up its own training academy, with 62 apprentices currently learning the trade in-house and a further 12 16-year-olds starting this autumn. So what's the attraction for them? For me, it was really good because I was earning while I was learning. Before I started, I was very shy. I hardly talked and anything, and I came here and now I'm just a completely different person, and it definitely shows. Hopefully I'll finish the end of this year and I'll become a professional chef. I came here as an apprentice because they keep it fun. Yeah, everyone here is well, they're great, they're nice, they look after you, and you, you're, you're constantly learning. It gives them a lot of knowledge, um, especially in a proper kitchen environment. Um, it, just, it just pushes them out into the real world. Cooking isn't just about being able to cook, it's about managing yourself and managing the environment of people around you at the same time. Several generations of the Brand family have created a business that operates 11 hotels across Devon and Cornwall. We're a family business that all work together for the good of the business. We have regular meetings, you know, we bounce ideas off each other, but we all know that we're only as strong as the people that we work with. The apprenticeship system has evolved over the last couple of years. Um, it was really put in to ensure that we, we get the best young people and we nurture them into the way that we like to work. We're so much invested in apprenticeships, helping people progress in their careers through hotels. Is this reflected in the level of hospitality customers can expect to receive? I think you get more personal service here. I think abroad it's um, very much a case of, you know, packing as many as you can. It's lovely because they recognise us, they know us by name, they know our likes and dislikes. And we've seen a young uh, Polish guy go from being just coming here with hardly any English and now progressing to front of house manager and every time we come I get a big kiss and made to feel very welcome. <laughs> and we feel that we're almost coming to our second home. Uh, we recognise the staff, they know what beer I drink and it's uh, uh, all, all in all a very relaxing, enjoyable uh, experience. Good morning Mr. Mrs. Short, you okay? Hello. Yes, Are you all enjoying your stay? Training at the Brand Academy complements the government's trailblazer apprenticeship scheme by using industry recognised assessors. We chose hit training on the basis that all of their assessors and their verifiers are all ex-industry people. They all understand what goes on in industry and it's important to us for that because obviously if they're going to go down into a kitchen then clearly we need the chef assessor from HIT to actually understand how a kitchen works. And it's the same with any of the disciplines within the hotel. The apprentice wins because they get money in their pocket, they get uh, training qualification, they get career progression. The customers win because they get to see familiar faces. We win because we pick up the local market in terms of the employability. And with regular contact being made with local schools, it's thought the academy will encourage even more young people to take up opportunities in hospitality.